everyone, welcome back for another episode of Mike's Mini Motors. Today we are working on Brandon's Ruckus again. Um, in today's episode, we're going to get his GY6 attached to his Ruckus so that we can start doing all the wiring and everything. Um, the first step we're going to do is get the back tire on the wheel so it can mount to the engine, which it's a fun task. If you look, here's the tire we're putting on there, the width of it. And there's the width of the wheel. <laughs> yeah, so on my ruckus when I did it, I got the tire onto the wheel and then took it to, I think, almost every tire shop here in town. And they, most of them told me, literally told me, it's impossible. It will not go on there. I told them, yes, it will. I know it will. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody would even touch it. So I had to go buy a bead blaster off of Amazon and did it first try. I wanted to take back all and be like, ha, 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 see, I told you, but, <laughs> but I didn't. Uh, so that's what we're going to start with this, and hopefully we get lucky and get it first try also. Um, it's a bit scary, <laughs> just because it's a lot of air and it's loud. Um, other people do it where they put, I think it's like lighter fluid, and then light it, and it, the combustion mm -hmm. does it, but... I'd rather not blow up, so. They do a lot of roadside assistance for semi tires to do Yeah, yeah. Yep. So we'll do it with air so we don't explode. And yeah, so that's where we're going to start is getting that on there. And we're going to get the engine bolted on. Heck yeah. We're doing this. Good times. <coughs> Whoa, careful. Good thing. As you see, we've got the ratchet straps on here. What that does is just prevents the tire from going out that way. Um, and then we got the bead blaster filled with air and it's essentially just an air tank with a big two inch uh, ball valve that just releases all the air at once. And it pushes the air in, the tire flexes before the air comes out and then hopefully beads up. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's going to be loud. So let me, Let's bring it with some soap and water real quick. Just spread the whole thing, both sides. Yeah, just because that'll help seal it. Yep. I got this side here. Alright. The straps are out of the way, they're not going to get sucked into the beat of the tire. Get that one out of the way, good call. Because you don't want to. You don't want to have to unbeat it once it's beaded. True that. Word to that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so is there an angle I got to worry about here? There, they're just kind of angling it down into the tire. Okay. And make sure you hit the valve all the way. Ooh, sliding on me. That's why I grabbed the tank with my knees. Yeah, I'm just putting my body into it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Round one. You want to hold that side or no? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to catch my finger nothing. No, absolutely. Nope. <laughs> Didn't move at all. I'll try it again. Alright, so I realized why that first one didn't work. It's because these wheels have a, uh, they're not centered, the, the middle part. It's a three inch gap this side, five inch on the other. And if you look here, this much of the metal, there's quite a bit of a the lip there, but on this side it's the little tiny one. So we put that side down with the little lip, and then it, the tire only has to come up a little bit to seat onto this one. So we'll give it another shot. Got round two. Full of air. Here we go. Going round two. 
Hmm. Start angle it in there. Go up more of a little bit of a downward angle if you can. You'll go into the tire either. Well, I'm, I'm trying to aim towards that yeah, gap, yeah. but I got gotcha. you. Good? Yep. All right, round two. Here we go. I was loud, my ears ringing. Ah, oh, mine too. Oh. Push it. Is it sliding? Not yet. Oh, where's the goo? You got the spray bottle over there? Uh, yeah. So now we're just putting some more air pressure in it to try to get it to beat up. If we can't and we're putting too much pressure in it, then uh, don't put your fingers in yep. it. Yep, I almost did. Um, we can put it in front of the heater and the, it'll make the air expand. And you can see I had to do that on mine. Let's see where we're at. I don't want to do too much. Oh, barely in. Oops. Sure. They stop me to air it up. This is about like 25. Oh. There's Whoa. one. Whoa. <laughs> That's why you don't want your finger in there. Definitely don't want those fingers in there. There you go. Let me check the pressure. Yep. Yeah, 35. 35. So a little more. A little bit more. Okay, so this one we'll put in front of the heater and let it uh, bead on its own. So we'll get back to putting this on the motor here in, a, in just a moment. Scared us, okay. I assumed it would, but see, it stretched on there. Like with the bead blaster, if I'd have realized we were doing the wrong side, we would have got it first try. So, same thing happened with my ruckus. So, to all the tire shops that say it's impossible. So, now what we gotta do is drill these out to be able to fit over the since he's going with the lug nuts instead of lug bolts, they're uh, an M12. So, we gotta drill these out a little bit and then we can get this bolted onto the engine and then we'll get the engine bolted on. Okay, so we got that on there, uh, just drilled the holes out, uh, put the lug nuts on it, and the engine's ready to be bolted on, so, well, it, that part's done. Right. What we gotta do here, one thing that we spaced out doing when we were prepping the rear frame, is this crossbar here, there's two stock holes that actually have a nut welded on the back side of it, so there's threads. We need to enlarge it to get these much bigger bolts through there, to get the front mount for... This guy, which isn't painted yet, which will get painted. Um, Cause yeah, there's much bigger holes. So we'll do that and then we can get this bolt on. Yep. It'll be pretty quick. It'll be pretty quick. I mean quick, quick, pretty quick. <laughs>
it on there with the motor mount and everything. The last part will be the shock, but you always need to take your shock and there's a part of the bottom mount. You need to grind it off to actually fit on there. So we'll get to that here shortly, but we got that on there. Um, sorry if the hyperlapse was a little shaky. I don't know, I'll look later, but we actually mounted it here so you could see us doing that work. And then we had to switch this bracket here around so it was in the right position. And then uh, it was starting to get tippy with the motor on here. So we had to put the straps on here so it doesn't go anywhere. So but yeah, the motor's on there. If you look at it, it started to look much more like a, an actual bike. Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, start mocking up that uh, shock and then the motor will be mounted. Yeah, basically. And then we'll have to tighten all this stuff down. Yeah, it's just um, all loose just for mock up and stuff. Yep. So we need to be tightened it down. And obviously you guys also saw we had to pull the carburetor off too. Um, it's just getting a little weird trying to get it fit in there. So hold it off. Make sure you stuff something down in there to prevent any, uh, anything from the metal shavings or anything else like that because, I mean, it's detrimental to aluminum motors. So. Well, any motor. Any motor, but yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so make sure you always uh, take precautions on that kind of stuff too. So, yep, yeah, we'll get that shot grid kind of prepped with the bench grinder and we'll get it put on here. So there's the shock mounted up. So these shocks, let's see if I can get the camera in there to show you. I should have filmed it beforehand, but I didn't think about it. The mount here, you see the shape of it? On this side, it's fine, but on the inside, you have to grind it down so that it doesn't make contact with the engine back here. So we did that and got her bolted up now. So this thing is actually, we dropped the center lift, and it's actually supporting its own weight now. So what we got next is we got the correct throttle cable from the rolling wrench really quick so that's going to go in next and then we will do exhaust and i think that's going to wrap up this episode oh we'll fill the oil too but that's nothing too exciting so all right on to the throttle cable So this exhaust uh, is giving us some problems. Um, Brandon did take a gamble on it. He bought it off of eBay for cheap. Uh, they said it was for a GY6, and it is, but I think it's not for the, the fatty tire setup because we had to actually grab the header here and pull it this way so that the, the muffler would even clear the wheel. So you can see it's still fairly close, but it's clears now. And then also the, the bracket here that Brandon's holding, we had, it had two bars that came off of it. We had to cut one off here because it was going, trying to go up here through the tire, not gonna work. So we got that to where it cleared there. And then this upper arm here, we had to notch it. So we bent, I just drilled, or took the grinder and cut some notches and bent it. And then up here too, which see I bent it a little too far and snapped it off. Um, but I'll have to get my welder. Unfortunately, I lent, loaned it to somebody, so I need to get it back. But we'll weld that up, weld up all the, the notches we cut, and then paint it, and then this exhaust should work fine. And it looks pretty good on there. You can see, it just takes a little extra work. So we'll get that as soon as I can get my welder. Okay, so we got the exhaust hanger, or muffler hanger. Weld it up and everything, it's good to go. Um, it will eventually get pulled off and painted to cover up the grind marks and whatnot. Same time we pull off uh, the linkage there. Um, same with Brandon's thinking about pulling his header off at some point and painting it black. Um, but before we get the rest of the exhaust bolted on, we're going to do two things. One, fill the oil just because we have access to it easier now. And then two, we printed his uh, hubcap. So it's gonna go here behind the, the wheel and 
it would be a lot easier with the muffler and everything out of the way. So we're going to get that done, and then we'll get the exhaust bolted on. So there's the hubcap installed. Covers up the hub and says ruck yeah, so why not? It also, since it I built it or designed it to flange out here, it covers up the other holes in the hub so you don't see those. We went ahead and filled her with oil. And now we'll bolt this exhaust on and be rocking. Alright, so there's the exhaust all bolted up, and this engine is ready to rock. So, end up getting you know the wheel tire, all that kind of stuff set up, ready to go. The exhaust, uh, it's mounted, the shock, everything. So, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Um, stay tuned for the next one. What we're going to do next is uh, the wiring. We'll put all the stuff back up here and then start routing what we need to back here for the engine, which isn't much. But then also like the rear brake light and all that stuff and get this thing wired up. So thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and like the video if you're liking what we're doing. Uh, leave us a comment and like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot.